Good day fellas, I hope you are ready for your daily dose of skill. Today we are going to play with a Shrek TVP or TVP Shrek or however you want to call this. I a lot of a lot of you are asking the questions how to play with this vehicle and looks like more and more of you are completing marathon and today we are going to take a look into this vehicle once again. Uh, probably for the last time in a very very long time and I really want to share this ending game with you because uh, it was absolutely amazing. The first five minutes we got only 1.5 thousand damage but uh, the ending is where this vehicle is shining and pretty much um, you are trying to play with this tank as safe as possible and after that you are doing some maintenance aka cleaning. This is exactly what you are looking for and that's what you want to do with this vehicle boys and girls ladies and gentlemen it's very important thing to say so we eliminated double penetrator um, another double penetrator is down to one shotable obviously we are uh, losing this game on quite a big margin if you would ask me there is t34 who is trying to make a bit of pressure and in fact he is going in front like there is no tomorrow there is t34 um, Trio who is going in front and trying to eliminate me from the game which is once again completely understandable thing luckily for us uh, we have some friends who are going to help us at least I believe so and as you can see T34-3 is dead even though uh, well luckily for us he just got slaughtered by the ISU and this is not the situation what I want to show for you even though this is looking uh, um, pretty good if you would ask me the clearance is very very nice i want to show you different thing uh, i've seen some uh, uh, someone is saying this is impossible to uh, defend this pavn and it is very possible fellas this pavn is definitely possible to defend what you need to do whenever you are playing with a medium tank tank destroyer uh, or whatever else that right? if you do not really have armor and especially if you don't really have the gun depression you need to knock those trees in front of you right it is extremely important thing and i get it i completely understand now it's kind of late but unfortunately we did not manage to do anything earlier than that right and we are now ready to play the game right so as you can see there is enemy Shrek coming for us, there is Lance and Star 1, Scorpion, enemies are having definitely advantage over hit points but this is how you are playing the game, you are using double bushes and you are trying to pretty much spot enemies from this position over there. If this tank ammo can hold uh, if i can play like this you can play like this as well well until you have the full camo set up on this vehicle pay attention how i'm misleading enemies i loaded high explosives i knock at the tree in the side and the main reason why i have done that is very very simple i wanted to give uh, some kind of confusion for the enemies where i am exactly right because they are, i know they are going to go in front like there is no tomorrow they will try to do everything what they physically and possibly can in order to eliminate me from the game but not today boys not today all four tanks pretty much got effed while they are trying to go for isu and we farm at them like there is no tomorrow this is how i want to start um our session and this is what i want to share with you boys and girls ladies and gentlemen and now let's teleport into the garage i want to show a couple of the equipment setups because i know you are completing marathon and you will see some live games how the things are looking like not only cherry pick the best situations and i will try to explain everything to the best of my abilities so without further ado let's teleport to the garage and we are back so first things first fellas what do i use myself for this vehicle i am going with um optics rammer and improved aiming unit if you think this tank is accurate enough and you do not need improved aiming unit you can always get yourself turbo turbo is useful and turbo can be extremely extremely uh, good stuff for you right the tank is becoming more agile what complaints i heard about this vehicle so far obviously no armor and um, quite bad gun depression so it's kind of hard to play with this vehicle and the ridge line and indeed it is now speaking about the crews i had luckily for me i had some crew members from events as you can see speaking about barracks i have quite a bit of those left from the all events um so if you have some of them obviously use them if you do not have uh the crew with a free brother in arms or or in this kind of situation if you do not have 
have the, the crew from events you can always use your crew box and this tank needs to have couple of skills in order to work well especially if you have 850,000 manuals you can use four of those in order to uh, boost the crew uh, quite a bit but once again it depends on you do you want to do that or you do not want to do that considering Italians are coming so you know uh, now what do I use myself I decided to go with this kind of setup at least for the skills i have just in case if you want to screenshot this or you are planning to use the books or something this is how i decided to go for uh, for this tank obviously brother in arms uh, mm, the intuition is probably the most important thing obviously the dead eye camo uh, pretty much those are the most important things so i kind of think the four skills on this tank is kind of must to have if you want to feel confident and if you want to feel good and now without further ado let's teleport into the game and let's see what this tank is capable of doing and we are back so the very first game we have a ghost town assault now one thing which i want to say for you boys and girls ladies and gentlemen is how what do you think about the current marathon the current system of the marathon uh, i'm very curious what you have to say obviously use your comment section down below to do so um, I will make sure to check out today's uh, comments and in fact usually whenever I am reading comments I am reading that in the, during the night time whenever I am about to sleep just to check out what you are asking for and what you are saying, right? All in all, uh, this vehicle is extremely powerful which I mentioned this many many times before but it is very hard tank to play with, it truly is. Even the greatest players are struggling with this vehicle and it is not easy thing to do. Uh, and I truly mean it. You have, once again, you do not really have armor. You need to know, um, you obviously need to know when to shoot the high explosive ammunition. That will boost your performance by a lot. And you need to just be very, very good. Shell velocity is also quite a big pain in the butt. Uh, and it is not easy whatsoever to do the things. You see him? For example, now I completely miss him. But that's okay. This is the very first game and I am very well aware of how the things are going to look like. So we have the Ghost Town Assault. We need to defend the base somehow and we will try to do that with a big smile on our face. So let's try to do this. Now, obviously, what I would love to see, I would love to see enemies falling back a bit. And I'm paying a humongous attention at the maximap. And whenever this IS will go back, and believe me, he will, then we are going to say, oh, hello there. And we are going to spank him like there is no tomorrow. That's what I am looking for, and that's what I need. Now, this is where this tank will shine, and the DPM will definitely um, give us more advantages than anything else right we can spank this is and in fact this is is dead now speaking about Ooh, fellas look at this beauty the stock is did not manage to penetrate us that's a beautiful one you you cannot expect those too often to be fair with you so getting one bounce and shot from this um whenever we are playing with this vehicle it is huge fellas uh, by the way, in my humble opinion, enemies have a humongous advantage speaking about this pavn, so we need to keep this in mind. Uh, but they can easily take the base without bigger problems whatsoever, especially when no one is sitting over there. I am here like a protector uh, in a way of the day and I will be there just to eliminate the enemies if enemies will, uh, will make a mistake and if they will um, mess up, right? Meanwhile, there is T29. Actually, there is no T29. Okay, fair enough. I am considering my life choices and I kind of want to get involved against the T29. In fact, let's do this. I might regret this, but I am willing to take the risk. So, we are going to penetrate him once up the butthole, instantly bomb into the butt, and now we are going for him like there is no tomorrow, trying to track him as well. Beautiful shot, now I'm trying to escape, obviously, for not to take 
uh, one more for the team and here you go that's how we are losing most of our hit points when i said this tank is extremely extremely hard tank to play with i wasn't joking boys and girls ladies and gentlemen because lit this is literally what this tank is and yes i'm trying to run from this e25 and i think i am completely fine i do not really think i am spotted at this point so all we need to do we need to start farming this gentleman over there i know my gun is messed up so unfortunately in this kind of situation we are sitting very very bad we do not have any hit points whatsoever and unfortunately once again we are missing all our shots um as you can see the bloom of this vehicle whenever we have pretty much no gun left we are sitting in a um, deep shithole but in the same time it is how it is be really fellas scrapping be really scrapping something in this game speaking about this time good another kill hip hip hooray i am just going to sit here and i am going to wait until until our guys will get a bit involved i'm aware of where e25 is he's waiting until i will peek and i would not act surprised if we are going to see um explosion in our back and yeah extremely 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 hard tank to play with fellas i truly cannot stress this enough how hard it is to play with this vehicle meanwhile let's try to cross and i believe at this point we are going to try to hunt enemy jeff i think this is the best thing what we could do in this kind of situation uh also there is one of us who never ever was spotted and that was a sitting over there excellent now we know where Vaza is sitting at and we know it is not a premium version. You know what that, what that says for us? Well, it says we can kind of abuse him a bit. Skill really abusing enemy Vaza? Absolutely yes. With a big smile on our face. This is a premium version I assume. We are trying to hit the premium version. Very, very nice. And it's not victory yet. So... How we can spank them and how we can make sure they are going to regret their life choices. I think I am going to build uh, some distance between me and this uh, was over there. I think this is only one way how we can do the things properly. And once again, this might look like it is a very easy game, but it's not. I have a feeling E25 is trying to defend uh, um, from uh, obviously bigger distance, right? And he will try to support this was as much as he physically and possibly can. I need to sweat my butt off to get this 3000 fellas i truly needed to sweat my ass off okay um e25 is dead i believe we can teleport into the garage let's go and we are back fellas so victory is victory that's great we got another shot to the e25 although it took some time to chase him down and we are top by experience top by the damage but once again we needed to sweat our butts off like there is no tomorrow it was truly hard game and for this game we made 69,000 profits not including the extra rations because i have plenty of them moving on next okay in this game we can treat this like a pretty much typical tank destroyer. There is nothing unusual with this tank. I could try to go on top of the hill. Should I try to do that? I know one thing. I can try to go on top of the hill. I can knock some branches. And I can spank incoming heavy tanks. But this could go extremely, extremely bad. And I might regret my life choices for doing so. But fellas, you know what? Everything is for a content. Let's go up. We are going to go on top of the hill just because this vehicle is quick. We are going to knock some bushes and we are going to use the double bush for ourselves. Now, in this kind of situation, turbo obviously would work extremely well and probably uh, replacing improved aiming unit could work very, very, very well. Uh, but once again, unfortunately, this is not how the things are looking like and uh, this is what we have. There is a couple of ways how you can play this game and... Ooh, hi there. There is a couple of ways how you can play this game and option number one would be to take somewhere position over there. But um, as you can see, Lynx kind of stopped us. Is it going to stop us completely? The thing is, if they do not have anyone who is relatively fast to take the hill, I think we are going to be completely alright. Um, 
I recently discovered this position and it can work apps. It can do wonders, fellas. It truly can do wonders. You see this position over there? This is exactly where we are heading to and this is exactly where we want to play. So looking into this, we have quite a bit of the bushes in front of us, right? We can knock even trees, but I am not going to bother to do so. For now, we are just waiting until enemies will try to get involved and whenever they will try to go up. That's what we are waiting for. I need, I just must have someone closer to us because then we can start making, uh, making enemies to regret their life choices. I must do that. So, looking into this, we can start pumping the damage to the enemies left, right and center. This is how the things are looking like here, fellas. Oh, I'm getting spotted because this tank unfortunately does not have as much camo as I would love to. But it is how it is. And yeah, unfortunately this did not pay off. See, um, maybe I needed to knock the... Maybe I needed to knock the tree for a bit more calm or I needed to track the defender but you know that's my mistake and I cannot complain for being a silly goose myself. I lost a lot of a lot of health for trying to play there but um, I'm hashtag never lucky. I played in that position with a budget, I played in that position with Udes and with other tanks but this tank simply doesn't have. Either I um, did not knock at um, the tree because I was a bit afraid or 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 um, I'm just silly goose. I went out of two, right? So, in this kind of position, what we are going to do, we are going to go for a base defense and we need to figure out in which bushes the Scorpion and Lansen is sitting at. There is still a couple of enemies who never ever was spotted and that's completely fine for us. Um, but before everything, what I want to do, I want to uh, blind fire them a bit. Who is not spotted? The other Fede is not spotted. And that's about it. Okay. I have an idea. I think I am going to start blind shooting now. I have a feeling I will start blind shooting in a moment. So let's get into position from where we want to play the game. And let's see what we can do. Now, speaking about the blind shots, there is a very, very nice bush over there. And there is a humongous chance enemies are sitting there. I'm just making sure I'm not getting spotted. As you can see, I am not. So at this point, we can actually burst the bushes just like so. Paying attention, is it flying through? I did not really notice that, to be fair with you, but probably it fly through. Okay, how about the bush over there? Just like so, it is flying through for sure. Unfortunately, we cannot have that great of the angle as I initially thought we are going to craft. Um, what we can do about this? Nothing, fellas. Now, it doesn't really change the fact I would play with this vehicle or I would play with a Scorpion G, for example. Uh, this game would be quite complicated for us. And the main reason why this game would be so complicated for us is very, very simple. Um, unfortunately, but enemies have no team. And since enemies have no team, it is extremely, extremely hard to do something um, with a paper tank destroyer. It is just hard, fellas. And yes, I would love to say, but, 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 but there is a the second thing which I want to say and which I want to mention. No, not really. It's just simply hard. Nothing more add to that. Meanwhile, Shrek is moving through the middle. How are you doing, Shrek? Shrek is dead. Now we are going to uh, claim the dead fed alive. I am having high explosive loaded because I have a feeling I should be able to penetrate him like this. But as you can see, it is not so simple. Although we got a nice penetration right there. Okay, moving on next, what we need to do, we need to claim the remaining forces who are sitting here in the corner. Obviously, the biggest question mark is where the Scorpion is sitting at, because Scorpion should sit either in this bush or either somewhere over there, here or here. One out of two, I would say. Actually, one out of three. One bush, second bush, third bush. Okay, Scorpion is sitting right there. Now, if I will do everything properly, you will be surprised how good this tank is. Speaking about the high explosives, right? And moment of truth. Moment of truth. Scorpion is looking here. He's, he did not pay that much attention. 
can we eliminate him from the game? Not really, unless he would shoot. It is very, very hard to find the angle. Beautiful. First penetrating shot. He's trying to escape like so. I need to dodge him and I didn't. Eh! I needed to dodge him, fellas. Not much what I can change there. So, looking into this game, it was a big pain in the butt to get anything done, fellas. It was huge pain in the butt to do literally anything. Um, I got 1.9 thousand damage, 1,000 assisting damage, and I was working my ass off. So, skill, what you are trying to say for us? Is it um, is it a bad vehicle? No, this vehicle is good. I showed you end game situation, how the tank can work and everything, but it is extremely hard tank to play with. Um, it truly is. Sniping from the back, if you don't really care how much you are going to do, sniping from the back can work completely fine, but other than that, it was pain in the butt to craft what we crafted. We are third by the damage, we are first by experience, we got 48,000 profits. Next. Okay, last battle. Let's see what we can craft. Uh, so first things first, I believe we are going to start the game from the typical bush right there ahead of us and we will try to punish whoever will get spotted. There is a humongous chance Shitluck or ELC even will try to go through the middle and if it is going to be the case, we will try to spank them, right? Um, that's about it. Nothing unusual, nothing too crazy. ELC is going through the middle, we are spanking him and he is dead. Um, very, very, very great play by our team. It was absolutely amazing. Pleasure to play um, in this game. Everyone reacted instantly and ELC just got dropped down. Obviously, he did not play well by any shape or any form, but hey, it is his loss and... Um, we did the things properly. Now, obviously, once again, high explosives can work extremely, extremely well for this vehicle, right? I believe it is not a big surprise. Obviously, uh, the high explosives can do wonders. Okay, let's see. Um, I'm not particularly happy how the things are looking like there. And the main reason why am I saying so is because this side is completely unprotected which is definitely worth thing to highlight. Um, but I do not really think we can change this and I do not really think we can do anything else. Um, we can simply sit here and wait until enemies will get involved. Now, if Mr. Hawk will spot how enemies are making pressure in front, we are going to say hello for them and we will spank them whenever we will see them crossing like so, if um, they will make a decision to do this. If enemies won't make pressure like this and if they will try to go like this, uh, then we are sitting in the big fat um, hole, fellas. That's what I can tell you. Also, probably a very smart thing would be to destroy the buildings over there, but now it is a bit too late for this. I think at this point we definitely cannot do that. And in the best case scenario, I can try to shoot this bush um, because the star one could sit over there, but that's a... Uh, wait a second, this bush. Whew, I'm saying it completely. So yeah, hard one, fellas. Very, very, very hard one. Okay, we need to be very patient, fellas. Patience will bring us the reward and the cookie. We will need to be very, very patient. Okay. Beautiful shot. Hmm, that wasn't penetration. I thought we penetrated him for 400 or so. Unfortunately, that was not the case. Shame. Okay, do I want to come back to the same bush? We will try to do that, but we will try to do that in steps. First of all, we are going to go halfway in. Uh, after that, we are going to try to go full in. And as you can see, we are not getting spotted. So now we are just heading in uh, and pretending like nothing happened. Okay. Enemy Wood is, is thinking, ooh, we can make pressure. Very nice. Let's try to go a bit in front. I might take one for the team from the Scorpion. Not exactly what I'm looking for, but it will. if it will happen, it will happen. There is nothing what I can do to prevent this. 
Luckily we are not getting spotted and that's great and at this point we are just waiting until Emil1 will say Oh, I want to get involved. Still so far you have 400 damage, actually 500 damage, yep. And there is nothing what you can do about this. Being aggressive with this tank is not an option. Um, at least until you see you are winning the game in uh, in extremely big margin, right? That's only one way how you can try to get involved. At least from what I can tell. We are eliminating this house over there. That's nice. Scorpion is sitting in the back. Can we penetrate him? Yes, we can. Oh, come on, game. Don't treat me like this, please. Such a shame. Such a shame, fellas. Unfortunately, the gun is saying no for us. Well, it happens, and if it happens, there is nothing what we can do about this. Now, Scorpion should be right there, I would say. So we are going for a blind shot. This could be a direct hit, I would say. Although we are still not spotted, so we, we can feel very, very good about this. We can feel extremely good about this. By the way, pay attention to this gentleman. He is literally... Uh, he is playing pretty much in the same position where I am playing. But he, the difference between me and him, he made one mistake. And I believe he is going to... I believe he is going to be grateful for this video after this game. Although, once again, everyone can make a mistake and no one is safe from this. No one is. No one is safe from mistakes. And let's go. Fortunately, not a direct hit. Shame. We need to figure out how to decap the base, but to be completely fair with you, I do not really think we can do this. Our team needs to figure out how to decap the base, and I cannot do absolutely anything right there. And you know what is the worst thing of all this? There is Skoda who is joining the cap. Enemies capture the base. What do you expect me to do? To go in uh, with a Shrek and die? They capture the base, that's it. Uh, so that's the Shrek for you, fellas. This is a Shrek for you. Sometimes um, it can be a good uh, even for a princess. And sometimes um, it can live in the swamp, fellas. And there is no other options how you can uh, make it work or how you can make it happen. Um, after playing some games, I just figured it out. It is very, 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 very hard to make a uh, tank to make it work. It truly is. So in this kind of situation, once again, our friend, he did uh, pretty much four shots per game. We did uh, pretty much five shots per game. Um, the enemy barely did also anything, right? Uh, so here you go. And uh, there is nothing what we can change, fellas. Very hard tank to play with. We finished everything with a 2,000 damage and 400 assisting damage. That's too shit. Let's go for one more. That's very, very bad score. We can do better. And we are back. So we are having a tier 10 matchmaking. And this is going to be quite a hard one. But we will try to make it work. I do not want to snipe from here because once again, unfortunately, but we do not really have that great of the gun depression. Um, to play there uh, and in order to play in this position successfully you need to knock the trees and I don't feel like I want to do that. So instead of doing this we are going to take this corner right there and let's see will Baboon try to take this typical bush over there because it's very very good bush but once again you need to you need to know what you are doing. Does he know what he is doing? Kind of yes, kind of no. Oh, yes, you do. Oh, you sneaky, sneaky, sneaky baboon. Oh, you sneaky baboon. I see. I see. Very, very nice. Beautiful play by the Amaix, honestly. That was beautiful. Okay, let's see. Playing in the position where we want to play, obviously. And I have a feeling he will try to come back to the same bush speaking about the MX. I do not really think he is giving up yet. I do not think he is going to give up yet. Meanwhile, what do we have? We have the enemies who are kind of overpeaking. 
And in fact, I kind of, I repeat, I kind of want to go into the city. Such a hard game tonight, fellas. I was playing, um, I had a short stream today. I played for two hours and honestly most of the games went very very well and now I started playing with this vehicle and it is a struggle. I am struggling to do anything. Very 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 hard time to play with. I truly want to stress this uh, and, to, and to say that out loud, to say that straight in the face and just to uh, highlight this. So if you are struggling yourself um, with this vehicle, don't be too sad because there is plenty of others who are struggling as well. And the gun handling is on the paper very very good, right? The gun is 0.20 something, but since the tank has kind of slow shell velocity, um, it is hard to do the things. Couple scorpions and Shrek never ever spotted. Okay, we know we are Shrekes and we know we are Scorpioness. They're saying hello for a Scorpion, such a beautiful alpha damage. Scorpion is looking at us. Oh, come on with your bounce. Re Sadness. Sadness for sure. Okay, let's try to cross like this. Oh, another Scorpion. I hope I'm not spotted. Yeah, by the looks of it, I am not. Trying to spank him up the butt. Nice, nice, nice. By the way, just to let you know, um, this vehicle has close to 6,000 damage. Um, if we are speaking about the, if we are speaking about the high explosives, right? This is very important thing to say. How could they hit Baboon, fellas? Baboon was trying to run for his life. <coughs> Okay, what do we have? We have Shrek. Let's try to hit the Shrek. Nice, minus 400. Can we hit him again? Minus 470. Such an insane hit. Such an insane hit. That was 1.2 thousand in literally seconds, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. That was 1.2 thousand in seconds. Look how you can quickly change the outcome of this vehicle. PP race. He had he had no fear whatsoever, fellas. He had no fear whatsoever. That's more like it. I mean, the last game is definitely a bit better than we had before. Obviously, we was kind of unlucky to get the game where enemies simply decided to cap the base, and that was obviously the weakest game of all this. Um, but yeah, that's how World of Tanks is looking like nowadays, and I'm not here to show you the best battles ever. I am here to show the current world of tanks. This is what you this is not what you are seeing in movies. This is what you are seeing when you are playing the game yourself. Um, luckily the last game kind of fixed the things just tiny touch speaking about our session. 3.8 thousand damage, hip hip hooray, 1000 assisting damage, excellent. We are top by the experience, we are top by the damage, we made 133,000 profits. Um, only because we completed the mission. If we would not complete the mission, this would be below 100,000. And yeah, our session is looking a bit better. 2.5 thousand, actually 2.4 thousand and 600 barely scrapping 3,000 mark. Hard bugger to play with, but I believe eventually I will start working for Mark of Excellence and I believe this is going to be an absolutely amazing journey and it's going to be a good one. Anyways, thank you very much for watching. I appreciate you fellas and see you very very soon. Skill is out for today. Peace.